Blog Talk Radio. Hey everybody, it's your girl Cy Brown and welcome to the Cy Brown Morning Show. Today is Tuesday, October 13th and it is a wonderfully beautiful day in New York City. We are going up to, I think, 75 actually, which is, I don't know if it's an anomaly. I don't think it's quite that. But that's pretty doggone warm <laughs> for the middle of October in New York City. That's I, I'll take it. I think we're running about uh, 10 degrees higher than normal, so I'll take whatever we could get. I have this really cool um, barbecue pit. What are those things called? The chat room is open, so somebody hit me up in the chat room and let me know what, what that thing is called. Like a fire pit, I guess, right? Where you... Um, it's like metal, I guess, and then you put real wood in it. Well, anyway, long story short, I had that sucker burning in my backyard about two weeks ago because it was just that cold, and I actually even turned on my heat just a smidge. And this is that tricky weather, that, that weather you can get <laughs> get sick in. But, you know, I'm in the gym by 4 or 5 o'clock most days of the week, and it is cold, cold, cold that early in the morning. So now I'm at the point where I have to wear my hoodie, put my hat on, um, because y'all, y'all know how much hair I have. And it just holds water. I, I, I don't know. I'm touching my hair right now. I'm, I'm going to do a periscope later, and I'm, I'm afraid to do it live so you can see what this head is looking like right about now. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, I have a lot of hair. And then when you sweat and then it's cold, ah! But we do what we have to do. But in all things, give thanks, right? Right, exactly. All things we have to give thanks. Um, Before we jump into today's topic, I just want to give a big shout-out to the New York State chapter of the NAACP. I had the absolute pleasure of speaking at their state conference this past Saturday. Roderick Hutchison and his son, Xavier. Well, first of all, Roderick, thank you so much for the invitation. But his son, Xavier Hutchison, is the New York State president of the youth division of the NAACP. You talk about a young man on fire. That's the stuff. That's what they need to put on the news. Instead of this black man shot that black man, man, bump all that. Roderick and, uh, I'm sorry, Xavier and his team were on point, let me tell you. They ran everything so smoothly. I don't know if you guys have been to the Long Island Hilton That is a huge hotel, and there were hundreds of people there representing chapters all across the state of New York. So, you know, when people think of New York, they just think of New York City. But when you start to go up north and west, it's really rural. So we have people from Buffalo, people from Syracuse, I mean, people from all over the state. So it was, and and they pulled it together. So I have to give a big shout out to Xavier because he um, embodies the leadership that black people need moving forward. You know, we say where are the black leaders? We want we would be led to believe that all black men are on the corners with their pants hanging down, smoking blunts and drinking. Nah, not what I saw. There are some real leaders in the college students representing um, the NAACP. Oh, my gosh, there were three tables of them. So um, it it restores hope. But just want to say thank you for the wonderful invitation. I had the absolute pleasure of meeting and speaking with Dr. Hazel Dukes, who is the New York State President of the NAACP, Mr. Rudy Crew, who is the President of Medgar Evers College. I mean, we're talking like he's the President of college. This is not some guy who owns the bodega down the street. These are some very influential people. And I had the absolute pleasure of hearing Mr. Cornell William Brooks, who is the national president and CEO of the NAACP keynote the luncheon. You want to talk about a treat. He had everybody fired up and ready to go. And this was on the same day as the 20-year anniversary of the Million Man March that was taking place down in Washington. So it kind of split some of the audience, but there were still hundreds of people in attendance. So what a treasure to be invited to speak. So I would be remiss in not saying thank you. The second piece to that is I I left my house early in the morning, drove out to Long Island, and then drove to South Jersey to speak at a women's conference um, from Leslie K. Howard Ministries. Big shout out to Ms. Leslie K. Howard. She holds um, a conference every year. This year was uh, Women in Construction, uh, Women Under Construction, excuse me, 
and the whole theme, there were hard hats everywhere, and she had this big under construction like board where women can stick their face in and take selfies and take pictures. She put on a dynamic conference. I was only there for Saturday evening to speak, but these women were fired up, and they let me have the stage. She shared her stage with me, and I talked about health and fitness, and they videotaped it, and we took tons of pictures. And that's what my life is really about, sharing my passion for fitness, sharing my love, of health and wellness, and just helping people see that you can do better. I gained weight at some point in my life because I don't even know how it happened. And when I turned 40, I just realized I was fat. And I thought that's what your life is relegated to at 40 years old. And and praise God, it was not. So I, I got my life together, and now here I am a few years later looking fabulous as ever. If you want to see my pictures, follow me on social media at Cy Brown. I'm all over the place. Um, but, yeah, I just had to say thank you to the NAACP and to Leslie K. Howard and to the all the people, the hundreds of people that I shook hands and met with this past Saturday. So now that we're beyond that, if you're in the chat room, well, if you're listening to the show live, the chat room is open, so definitely hit me up. Um, so I want to get into a few things today. I want to just talk. Today we have a, a, a mini show. We only do a 15-minute podcast today. Um, usually we're 30 minutes, but today I'm doing a short show because da, 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 my book launched last week, and I am on a whirlwind of promotion. So shh. Don't tell anybody, but I'll be on Dr. Oz on Thursday. So I'm definitely prepping. I have my publicist, my management. I have everybody on standby. So I'm doing tons and tons of phone calls and just getting our back-end work for when the, the wonderful episode of the Dr. Oz show airs in two days. So today's a short show. So I just want to drop some information about ginger, the, like some really good health um five really simple health benefits of ginger. Um, You all know I juice. If you follow my blog, Cy Brown Fitness, you will see that I juice. (laughs) Actually, I juice. This is what I do because a lot of people have asked. Let me just share. I juice for breakfast always. Sometimes I'll have protein if I train. I'll have a sensible lunch. But if I want to, you know, have a real lunch, I'll have a real lunch, and then I juice for dinner. So I juice two-thirds of my food. It just helps me maintain my weight. Um, But the basis of my juicing is usually kale and ginger. And today, actually, I juiced, uh, I'm sorry, yesterday I juiced and I used some leftover collard greens. It may sound crazy, but it was really good. And I boiled some carrots. I didn't boil too much because I didn't want to boil out the nutrients. But um, I boiled some carrots just so they wouldn't break the blade in my blender. And I put some ice and some other stuff in it, but I still put ginger. Ginger is so, so wonderful. But I I could talk all day about my juicing and stuff like that, but I just want to share a couple of really quick tips about ginger because I'm asked about it a lot, whether it's sliced. um, And it's so inexpensive. I bought, I don't know, about a piece that I could barely put my hand around, um, and it was not even two bucks. It was like let's say like a dollar and a half even, um, and I, it, that can last me probably a good two weeks, and that's with me juicing twice a day, and then I'll juice even more if, um, if, if I'm juicing for my husband and my kids. But, you know, just remember your grandmother used to say when you had a stomach ache, hey, I have a stomach ache, and she'd say, get some ginger ale. That stuff is no good because it's been proven that there's barely any ginger in ginger ale anyway. But ginger can treat many forms of nausea. This is tip number one, just, you know, going down the line. If you miss any of this, don't forget you can just um, listen to the podcast on my site, Cybrow Fitness or SoundCloud, or you can just go to CybrowMorningShow.com. But ginger can treat many forms of nausea, especially morning sickness. So that's why if you have an upset stomach, um, like the old folks, medicine people, or herbal stores, they would say get some ginger. It can also relieve nausea and vomiting after surgery. My mom, um, you know, I have shared, lost a courageous battle with ovarian cancer, and I remember her sharing with me how all of the natural um, vegetables and plants and things from the garden helped her. So ginger is definitely something that can help you with nausea. Here is one of my favorites. 
that ginger may reduce muscle pain and soreness. If you are like me and you strength train, I strength train at least twice a week. Some, uh, actually, sometimes as much as four times a week, like pure strength training where you're doing nothing but lifting weights, body weights. Uh, ginger has been recorded that it can reduce muscle pain and soreness. One study, and this, all this information will be on my blog, um, in one study, consuming two grams of ginger per day for 11 days significantly reduces muscle pain in people performing elbow exercises. This is of note. It, does, it may not have an immediate impact, but it may be effective at reducing the day-to-day progression of muscle pain. When you strength train, it is highly recommended that you do not strength train every day. That's why I really try not to go like this four days the, in a week. The only time I'll strength train that much is if I'm, if I have myself on like a 14-day or a 21-day or a 24-day or a 30-day program. But just when I'm chilling, like, you know, like right now I'm gearing up to go on tour and do a lot of speaking engagements, I'm on a pretty strict regimen of what I can eat and what I can't. So I revved up my strength training a little bit, and that's one of the reasons why I put so much ginger in my um, – when I juice every day. Um, another tip, this is tip number three, Ginger may drastically lower blood sugars and improve heart disease risk factors. What's happening is this study is relatively new, but in a recent uh, 2015 study of 41 participants, which is not a huge study. Let me just say that. That's why I want to quote these these numbers. Um, 41 participants with type 2 diabetes, 2 grams of ginger per day lowered fasting blood sugar by 12%. So if you have high blood pressure, Um, you know, or or, I'm sorry, high blood sugar, ginger may help you with that as well. Um, Another tip, ginger powder may significantly reduce menstrual pain. I don't even need to elaborate. I have done so many shows and talked so much on can we work out if we have our period? Can we work out if we have cramps? What to do? Menstrual pain just is simply the pain surrounding the cycle, and it is proven, and I can attest to this, that ginger can be used as a relief for pain. You can either take little bites. It's very strong. You can mix it in um, your juicing. You can cook with it. I make this amazing tilapia um, with coconut milk, with peppers and onions, and I put ginger in it, and it is delicious. Um, Another tip, this is tip number five, actually, ginger may lower cholesterol levels. I remember getting diagnosed with high cholesterol. My cholesterol was 233, y'all. Yes, it was. And I didn't even understand what that meant when I was diagnosed with cholesterol being that high. Part of the reason is my love of cheese and all things that are not good. (laughs) But anyway, ginger has been known. There there was a 45-day study of 85 individuals, I think I probably need to do my own study at some point, Um, with high cholesterol and three grams of ginger powder cause significant reductions in most cholesterol markers. So be really mindful. There are so many uses um, for ginger, and it can be used in so many forms. I would just say it's very strong. I mean, it has a very, very strong taste, but I love it. I love ginger beer. I love the ginger candy. You can get that at, like, health food stores where it has, like, that heavy sugar on it. Of course, you can't have too much of that. But I am just a ginger gal. So I wanted to pop my head in today and just share with you some of the wonderful, wonderful tips that um, that I feel would be helpful on your fitness journey as to how ginger can really help you. So on that note, I'm getting ready to bounce off the line and the show. I will be doing a full show tomorrow um, and preparing, continuing to prepare for my book signing next week and all of the wonderful things that are happening in the world of Sky Brown. So I hope you join me. Follow me online and definitely um, go to SkyBrownFitness.com and join my mailing list. That's where I send out all of my updates and things like that. And I wanted, uh, I'm going to do this again tomorrow, and I'm going to do it again on Thursday when the show airs. But, you know, I'll call them by name the day the show airs. But I have five special friends who join me um, on the set of Dr. Oz, and these are just the coolest women. So i got to give them a special thank you. And I'm actually looking at their um, thank you cards on my desk right now that I have to mail. There is something to be said about handwritten thank you cards, y'all. Go to Michael's buy a couple of those two, $3 packs of thank you cards and just buy some stamps. 
make sure you send out some thank you cards to people. I'm sure there is somebody you can thank for an act of kindness once a week. Let's, let's, let's not get so much into text messages and things like that. And the last piece to that, just me on a soapbox right now, um, I'm actually starting to write my Christmas cards, my holiday cards, because I don't want to forget anybody, and I don't need anybody pissed because I didn't think about them and their friend got one. Start early. Just write one here, there, and then when, you, when you're ready to mail them out, you, you're done. You don't have to cram. You don't have to think about it. So anyway, just me sharing my thoughts, which is what I've been doing since June 26th of 2008. Can you believe what started as Life Remix Radio is now the Cy Brown Morning Show seven years later? Like, just, just amazing. I'm just a blessed girl. I'm just really a blessed girl. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget, always remember, actually, not even don't forget, always remember, we shall pass through this world but once. Any good, therefore, that we can do or any kindness that we can show to any human being, let us do it now. Let us not defer or neglect it, for we shall not pass this way again. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see everyone tomorrow.